Hasan. Once upon a time, in a faraway forest, lived a bear family. Father bear, mother bear, and baby bear. The bear's family's favorite food was oatmeal. Mother bear would make it for breakfast almost every day. It was nice and warm. Mom, I'm hungry. Can you bring me my oatmeal? Okay, dear, but it's really hot. You should wait a little before you eat it, or you will burn your tongue. Okay, Mom. Then let's go for a walk so we can eat when we come back. The weather is beautiful anyway. What do you think? That's a good idea. Let's go for a walk. Mom, Dad, do you think we can also get some honey? Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay, let's go then. Follow me. So the bear family went for a walk. Meanwhile, on the other side of the forest lived a girl named Goldilocks that had long, blonde, curly hair. The little girl who lived with her parents loved the forest because the squirrels and rabbits were her friends. Her parents had warned her not to go far into the forest, so she played close to their house. Her golden curls bounced as she chased rabbits and butterflies. Her long curly hair was beautiful indeed. One day, Goldilocks asked her mother for permission to go into the forest. Mom, the weather's so nice today. Can I stroll around the forest for a little while? Okay, dear, but don't go too far. Be sure you stay on the path. Oh, there are some wild strawberries on your way. Could you gather some for me? I'm going to make some jam for you. Mmm, delicious! I love them. With a basket in hand, Goldilocks started her journey, following the path. As she pranced merrily, her curls bounced on her back. This was her favorite thing to do. When she came across the wild strawberries, she started eating some and putting some in her basket. What would happen if I go a little farther in the forest? If I don't go far, I won't be late. So little by little, Goldilocks went deeper and deeper into the forest. Her rabbit friends followed her, hopping among the flowers, while she sang. Creeks and rivers, seas and sky. I wish I had wings so I could fly. Creeks and rivers and seas and sky. I wish I had wings so I could fly. La 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 la. After a while, she realized that she had gotten lost. She was worried and very frightened. Suddenly, she noticed a little cottage up ahead. Hmm, I wonder whose house this is. She walked up to the door and knocked. Anybody here? Yoo-hoo! Anyone? I don't think anyone is home. I'm lost and tired, so I should go in and rest a little. I'll ask for help when the owner gets home. Goldilocks pushed the door, and it opened. So she went in. This is such a cute cottage, and it smells delicious in here. I'm so hungry. The aroma was coming from the three plates of hot oatmeal on the table. The biggest plate belonged to Father Bear. The middle one belonged to Mother Bear, and the smallest one was Baby Bear's plate. Goldilocks took a spoonful from the biggest plate and burned her mouth. Ooh, this is so hot! Then she tried Mother Bear's oatmeal. Ooh, this is hot too. I can't eat it. 
Then she tried Baby Bear's oatmeal. It was warm and nice. Mmm, this is it. It's just right for me. She finished it in a large gulp. She then walked around the cottage and saw three chairs in a corner. There were three different sizes. When Goldilocks sat in the biggest one, she realised it was too hard and uncomfortable. Ugh, this is so hard and not comfy at all. She then tried Mother Bear's. This was medium sized and somewhat hard. No, this one's not for me either. She saw Baby Bear's chair, which was just right for her. As soon as she hopped in the chair, it broke and Goldilocks fell on the floor. Ouch, that hurt. I almost broke my leg. What kind of a chair is this anyway? She was so tired, she needed a place to rest. That's when she saw three beds in the next room. This is great. I'll just take a nap. Goldilocks climbed into the biggest bed. Oh, this is way too high. It feels like I'm way up in the sky. Let me try the medium-sized bed. When she lay in this bed, it was far too soft that she sank in it. This is not comfortable either. How can anyone sleep in this bed? I really wonder who lives here. I hope they come soon so I can apologize for entering their house without permission and also for the damage I caused. The third bed belonged to Baby Bear. It was just right for Goldilocks. Oh, finally. This one is just right for me. I'll take a nap. I hope the house owners come before it gets dark and help me find my way back home. She fell asleep right away. At that moment, the bear family came back home. When Father Bear walked in, he was shocked when he saw the table. Someone put a spoon in my oatmeal! Uh-oh, mine also has a spoon in it! Oh no! Someone ate all of mine! What am I going to eat now? I'm starving! <laughs> Don't be upset, dear. Your father and I will share ours with you. The little bear was just about to sit in his chair when he noticed that it was broken. He started crying. <laughs> Someone broke my chair! Where am I going to sit now? <laughs> Father Bear knew that there was something strange going on. This is not right. I wonder who's been in our house. Let's check the room too. They all went into the room and saw Goldilocks sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. Oh, there's a girl sleeping in my bed. Mommy, Mommy, wake her up now! <laughs> Goldilocks heard the baby bear's cry and woke up immediately. Oh my, you are so beautiful! When Goldilocks saw three bears in front of her, she was so scared she jumped out of the bed and ran out through the door and into the forest. I guess she thought we were going to harm her. Look, she forgot her basket full of wild strawberries. Poor girl. Goldilocks ran so fast, and as luck would have it, she found her way back home. She banged on the door, crying. Goldilocks' mother heard her voice and opened the door. Where have you been, Goldilocks? I was worried about you. What happened to you? Goldilocks told her mother everything that had happened. Mom, I'm so sorry. I will never disobey you again. Her mother kissed her and tried to calm her down. Goldilocks couldn't stop crying and apologizing. 
Don't worry, you're home and safe now. Oh no, I forgot to apologize to the bear family, but I was so scared. It was the first time that I came face to face with bears. Don't worry, sweetheart. I bet they know you ran because you were scared. From now on, don't you ever go far from the house again. All right, Mom. I promise. Hey, guys. Subscribe to our channel, Kondasan, and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.